Hi guys! Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about Fourier's Law of Heat Conduction. So, this will be the first mode of heat transfer na pag-uusapan natin in our heat transfer lecture series. And again, ang gagamitin nating reference is yung Transport Processes and Unit Operations, 3rd edition by Christy J. Ginkoplis. So, first, tignan natin itong General Molecular Transport Equation, no? So, in here, we have the rate of transfer process is equal to the driving force over the resistance. Well, dito, makikita natin that in order to transfer a property such as heat or mass, we need a driving force to overcome the resistance. No? So, our numerator here is the driving force and our denominator is the resistance. So, in order to have a good transfer of properties such as heat or mass, kailangan na mas mataas ang ating driving force kaysa sa ating resistance. And this molecular transport equation is applicable sa momentum transfer, heat transfer, and mass transfer. Okay, so dahil conduction ang ating topic ngayon, sa so pag-usapan natin yung Fourier's Law of Heat Conduction. Well, napag-usapan na natin sa previous lecture natin that the Fourier's Law is equal to Qx over A is equal to negative K dt over dx kung saan yung ating Qx is the heat transfer rate in x direction which is expressed in watts. Then our A is the cross-sectional area normal to the direction of the flow expressed in square meter. Well dito, ang ating Qx over A ay tinatawag nating heat flux which is expressed in a unit of watts per square meter. Well, makikita natin dito na meron tayong negative sign because it means that the heat transfer is in the direction of the negative temperature gradient. No? And our K right here is what we call the thermal conductivity which is having a unit of watts per meter Kelvin. And if you want to learn more about thermal conductivity, you can check page 2-509 to 2-513 of Perry's CHE Handbook, 8th edition. And here, meron tayong dt over dx, no? where t is our temperature in Kelvin and x is distance in meters. Well, of course, pwede rin tong express in CSG and English system. And here are some of the conversion factors na maaring maging useful sa atin. So, we have 1 BTU per R per feet and degree Fahrenheit is equal to 4.1365 times 10 to the negative 3 calorie per second centimeter degree Celsius. We have also 1 BTU per R feet degree Fahrenheit, which is equal to 1.73073 watts per meter Kelvin. And for heat flux power, pwede rin natin gamitin itong conversion natin dito. 1 BTU per R per feet squared is equal to 3.1546 watts per square meter. Or 1 BTU per R is equal to 0 0.29307 watts. So, pwede natin gamitin yung mga conversion factors na yan when we are solving conduction problems. Okay, so now we will try to integrate itong Fourier's Law of Heat Conduction. No? Okay, so here is our Fourier's Law and we're going to do integration. But for this video, ang i-consider lang natin is yung flat slab or wall. So, we have some conditions to take note. So, our cross-sectional area a is constant and thermal conductivity K is also constant. Okay, so yan ang ating conditions right now. Okay, so we have here Qx over A dx is equal to negative K dt. No? Now let us integrate this. Our Qx and A are constant here. So, we will have here Qx over A, the integral of dx is equal to uh, our thermal conductivity is also constant. So, we have negative K, the integral of dt. So, from this condition, we will be integrating uh, our x from one side of the Material up to the next side of the material, which we have x1 up to x2. No? So, so, from one point of material to the other point of the material. And for temperature, we will be doing from temperature 1 to temperature 2. 
And now doing our integration, we'll have here qx over a times x2 minus x1 is equal to negative k t2 minus t1. So we also have qx over a is equal to negative k t2 minus t1 over x2 minus x1. So this can also be written as qx over a is equal to, so we'll remove the negative sign here by distributing it sa ating temperatures here. We'll have k times t1 minus t2 over x2 minus x1. Or you can write it as qx over a is equal to k t1 minus t2 over delta x. Okay? Now, as you can see, what you can find out with this equation is that the temperature varies linearly with distance. Okay? Now, if you remember sa first slide natin, meron tayong general molecular transport equation which is the rate of transfer process is equal to the driving force over the resistance. Well, from this equation that we have here, Qx over A is equal to K T1 minus T2 over delta X. Our rate of transfer process is Qx. So we'll have here Qx is equal to K times area T1 minus T2 over delta x right and now since our driving force is temperature difference we will have here qx is equal to t1 minus t2 over delta x over k a okay so nakikita natin dito yung driving force natin which is t1 minus t2 therefore ang ating resistance is equal to delta x over k a. So, this is qx is equal to t1 minus t2 over our resistance. Okay, so these are our important equation for conduction no? using Fourier's law, where our resistance is equal to delta x over k a. Well, you will find the same thing if you check our 8th edition of Chemical Engineering Handbook. No? So, in here, makikita nyo yung Fourier's Law. And then, ito yung ating Fourier's Law right here. And then, we integrated it. We reached to this condition. And finally, had this equation no? kung saan pinakita natin that our resistance is equal to delta x over k over a. Where our r is the thermal resistance will be expressed in k over w. Now, in our next video, we are going to start solving problems. We are going to use Fourier's law, no? Itong mga equations na na-derive natin right here. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching. And we would like to ask for your support by subscribing sa aming YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ipopost namin. Please subscribe also sa aming website www.engineers.org. It is an online community for Filipino engineers, engineering students, and STEM students. So thank you very much and have a nice day.